In this video we are going to explore Landsat 9 imagery in Google Earth Engine. Landsat 9 was successfully launched on Monday, September 27, 2021, from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Landsat 9 data is publicly available from USGS. Landsat 9, a partnership between NASA and the U.S. Geological Survey, continues the Landsat program's critical role in monitoring, understanding and managing the land resources needed to sustain human life. Before we begin make sure to subscribe to my channel for more easy-to-understand and beginners-oriented Google Earth Engine videos and press the bell icon so that you are notified when I upload a new video. I will search for Landsat 9 in Google Earth Engine. It will show me four image collection datasets that have various levels, starting from top of atmosphere reflectance, raw scenes, surface reflectance tier 1 and tier 2. If you don't know about Landsat data levels and tiers please watch my video tutorial on that. I will select the surface reflectance tier 2 image collection as it is ortho-rectified and doesn't have TOA effect. Just a tip, most people confuse atmospheric correction with cloud removal, cloud removal or cloud masking is different from image calibration. I will make a dedicated video on that. You can watch my video on image calibration, link in card above. In the data availability section Google Earth Engine shows me the date of image tiles that were acquired first by the Landsat 9, which is 31st October 2021. In simple words this image collection starts from the date mentioned. In the bands section we have a total of seven multispectral bands and various thermal bands as well as quality bit mask bands. All the bands are at 30 meters spatial resolution except panchromatic band which is 15 meters. Since we have selected the surface reflectance collection, so the panchromatic band and cirrus band are not available in this collection. You will find all them in TOA collection. We can also see the image properties available. I will import this collection and make a study area polygon. Next I will filter this image collection from the starting date till this day, as of recording this video. If you don't know about image filtering please watch my video on that. Inside the filter I will apply a condition that only filter those images that have less than 10% cloud cover, beware that Landsat 9 images that I have explored for the entire globe contains a lot of clouds, you can cloud mask them, but that is not effective at this time according to me. I will apply mean reducer that will return me the mean image from the collection. Next to visualize this image I will write line for false composite. I will zoom in on a cloud free tile and give stretch. I will also make a true composite and give visualization parameters. This is how Landsat 9 images from surface reflectance tier looks like. I personally don't like it, let me know your thoughts on them. If you learned something please like this video, write your queries in comments, subscribe for more easy Google Earth Engine videos. I will see you in the next one. Peace.